So let me just tell you what happened to me. This morning, I was just heading over to Mid Journey and I wanted to write a prompt. Now, what happened is this. Due to extreme demand, we can't provide a free trial right now. Please subscribe or try again tomorrow. So what happened? Well, I have to pay for it. Well, that gave me an idea. I just closed my journey and I went on to find something which is free and that is working at the same principle. So I have found Blue Willow. It is free, it is good, but it's again in the Discord and it's not so punctual. So what I stumbled upon is this one. Meet Leonardo.ai. And trust me when I say you this, it is way better than anything that you have ever seen before. Leonardo.ai, first of all, you don't have to go on the Discord. You will just make yourself an account. You will click on the launch app in here. Click on yes, I'm whitelisted. And then you will see the creations. Okay. Now, first of all, on the first look, you can see how powerful this is. These are just like recent creations that people are been making. So just have a look at these first. Now what's cool, you don't have to have a Discord account for this because this is not working there. The prompts and all of that is going to go inside of this app. But besides these prompts, you can just make like these details with your just your mouse. So just have a look at this for example. I'm going to take certain picture, let be this one. Now what is really cool, you get the prompt right away. So this is the prompt that has been used in order to generate this picture. So what you can do, you can learn this way or you can just copy and paste the same prompt. Of course, it's not going to be the same image, never but you can just take the style. Okay, so if for example, you like certain style of a certain picture that you have found on Leonardo, you can just copy and paste the prompt and you will get something similar. Now, what is really cool about this one is that you can go and you can download these pictures that people are been generating, or you can just go and do it without background. So click on no background and you will have all of it created for you. But of course, we're not going to do that since it's way easy to just create your own pictures and to make money with them just by following simple styles. So let me just show you this via an example. But first of all, I got to tell you, look at these credits here. So I've got 144. So when you make yourself an account, you're going to get 150. But these will reset every 24 hours. So that means it's always going to be free. Have a look at this. If you just move your mouse here, resets in 11 hours. So when those 11 hours pass, I'm going to get 150 again. So this means that you can create 150 images each day because each image costs one credit. But let me just show you how this works. So I'm going to click on this one. Okay, it looks beautiful. It's like crazy, crazy, crazy. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to copy this prompt here. And then if you want to create something of your own, you click here. So AI image generation. Now, first of all, you can see you can just copy and paste the prompt. This is the place for a prompt. But here on the left hand side of here, you have like these little details that I was telling you about. Now you can just increase the size, you can decrease the size, you can just deal with this like high contrast, and you have all of the explanations for what this means. Now this guidance scale is going to tell you how long and how goodly it's going to follow the prompt. But of course, I recommend just keeping this in seven or six. It's going to be okay. And this tiling you don't have to use unless you use patterns. Now I like patterns. I make a lot of money with patterns simply with print on demand business and on Etsy you can sell patterns as well. So I'm going to focus my video, this video about that one. But if you want to create like different AI art, if you want to create these pictures, like the one example that I took right now, you want to turn this off. So for this example, I'm going to turn this off and then I'm just going to go and I'm going to click on the generate button. And of course, in a few seconds, I'm going to get something similar. It's never going to be the same image and that's good. You have original image. So just have a look at this. You can just pause the video and move it backwards to see how that one looked like. But you can see that it is the same style, but it is a bit different. OK, and that is good for us. So I showed you how this works, but now I want to show you how to find the patterns because they're not so popular. You know, you can just scroll down and you will not find any this way because this is your feed. But if you go to fine tune models here and then you just head over to community models and then you just click here on the textures. So textures are where it is and you can click 
each one of these. So I don't know, I'm going to click on this one. And then what is going to happen? Well, I'm going to see the prompt. But if you click on view more, you're going to get a lot of these patterns. Okay, so what you can do next, you can just go and bookmark some of these that you like. So for example, you want to make a t shirt, which is like this, or maybe like this. So you want to do the next thing. Okay, so click on the pattern that you like. Let me just find something that is good for me. So I don't know, this one can be good. I'm going to click on it and click on this heart icon. Okay, and click on this one as well. So now it's all going to go to my personal feed. And if you want to find your own personal feed, just head over here. It says personal feed. I'm going to click on it, click on the liked feed and you're going to get a lot of your bookmarks. So now what you want to do if you want to make money with this one, I'm going to take this one, for example, I'm going to take this prompt, I'm going to copy it, head over back to AI image generation, of course, I'm going to paste that prompt instead of this one. And I just got to go and type in repeatable pattern. Okay, so that's what we want repeatable pattern. And of course, turn on the tiling for this one, click on the generate button. And that's it. Now you can just sell these almost anywhere, you know, you can use Amazon merch on demand, you can use of course, printful.com printify, or you can just use Redbubble, which is my favorite one. But let's have a look what Leonardo made for me. So this is my pattern. This is what I was looking for. So what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to click on the download button It's going to go to my computer, right? And then if you want to deal with Redbubble, here's the thing that you want to do. So create yourself an account, click on your profile, click on sell your art, and then just click on add new work. So in this section, just upload that picture of yours that you have created. Once you're done with that, you're going to have this. Now this title tags description, you can just do it by yourself. But I want to show you one trick. And to be honest, I never liked to, for example, make these like clothing because I don't know, it just doesn't look good with these patterns. It would work great if you just make your own design with Leonardo, of course, but this isn't so good for patterns. Maybe for dresses, it's good. But for these like hats, it's not so good. Maybe for these dresses, it's good. But take a look at this trick, for example. So let's just do it with a dress. I like this one. So what do you want to do? Click on it. And then you have your picture. So now you can see that it doesn't look like anything. It is ugly, in fact. So what do you want to do? Click on choose pattern and then choose regular grid. And then it's going to go over your old dress. So you can see this one. Now it looks like the patterned dress. The same goes with, for example, phone cases. Go and just click on choose pattern, choose a regular grid. And of course, you can see how this looks now. I mean, this just looks beautiful, if you ask me. As a matter of fact, I'm just now going to order myself one of these, you know, because it just looks amazing. OK, now you can just scroll down and choose like these mouse pads desk mats, even these like shower curtains, pillows, it can be done. So let me just show you with a pillow. It just looks amazing. I just selling these pillows right now. It's really good. Just have a look at this. It's artistic. And of course, it will all depend on you and your designs. Just have a look at this one, for example. So I'm just going to choose a pattern again. And I'm just going to enable this one so you can see it. It's really, really good. Okay, so really good. But the thing with this one is that if you want to have like bigger patterns, so if you want it to appear bigger you can't increase the size you can only like decrease and that is because leonardo gives you the picture 1024 by 1024 so what do you have to do you have to increase the size so you have to enlarge that one the way in which you can do that is you can just head over to vectorizer.ai and this one is going to serve you just to change it okay just to change this into an svg because svg you can increase that one so what do you want to do click on here you can input your work inside of this and of course it's going to take a few seconds and then you will download this one as svg file now you can see the original image and you can see the vectorize result it's the same thing colors and everything this one even looks better so what do you want to do click on the download choose svg file format click on the download and now what do you want to do well you want to go over to canva.com because it's free and it's easy to use so on canva what i want you to do i want you to choose 
4500 by 4500. Click on create new design and then what do you want to do? You want to upload that picture in there. That SVG file is going to go there right away. And of course, the next step is just to move this drag and drop. I'm just going to put it like there and because it's an SVG, it's just going to increase in size, but it doesn't lose quality. Okay, so it's the same quality whichever size you want. So now click on the share button, click on the download once again, click on the download. And now let's just replace that image on Redbubble. Click on the replace image. And now what are you gonna get? You're gonna get bigger pattern. So I'm just gonna go down again and I'm gonna go and see how this looks like on this one now. So you can see how this looks like bigger. But of course, if you don't like it now, you can go and you can scale the image. And of course, the pattern can become smaller. But of course, a regular grid is going to be still, but you can increase and decrease this pattern as much as you would like now. So until you get it right to your liking. But of course, for that shower curtain, it was really bad because it was too small. But now what we can do, we can right away choose regular grid. And you can see now it's a way, way better shower curtain because it has bigger pattern. Of course, you can decrease the size. It's always available. It's a repeatable pattern. But you can see now this looks like bad, you know. Now, this is bad. But once you start getting into these numbers, it's really good. You know, for example, this one is what I like. And it's really, really good. And trust me, it is going to sell like crazy. So what do you want to do now? You want to go and make a clear strategy for yourself. You want to create a few of these designs. And that's it. Okay. Make yourself an account on Redbubble, Amazon, Merch On Demand, or whatever you want to do. You can even sell these on Etsy. You can sell it places. You can even just make yourself a freelance career with these AI services. There's a lot of possibilities, but you got to know that Leonardo can help you with almost anything at all. Okay. And it's free. You don't have to pay for it and you don't have to have experience. You don't have to write like these crazy professional prompts. Just follow what other people are doing. Just copy the prompts because you're only copying the style. You don't take the same picture. You're just copying the style and it's legit. So just make a clear strategy, be dedicated and get yourself some money because if these people can do it, you can do it as well. Go and do it. I'll catch you.